Disagreements are plenty of filtering out of the EU budget summit, which is struggling to set a coherent financial course for the EU for the next seven years until 2020. Short-term interests are steering the original proposals off course. What the EU needs now may not work out to the decade's end, but it's now on most minds. Well, I don't think there's been enough progress so far. I mean, there really is a problem in terms of there hasn't been the progress in cutting back proposals for additional spending. And it isn't a time for tinkering. It isn't a time for moving money from one part of the budget to another. You know, we need unaffordable spending cut. That's what's happening at home. That's what needs to happen here. David Cameron's not the only fly in the budget ointment. Italy's Mario Monti has also warned he could veto any cuts that hit Italy too hard. While many can agree with Cameron's call for a cheaper bureaucracy, few support his call for fewer subsidies for struggling farmers or less infrastructural investment in southern and eastern member states. After all, that would strike at the solidarity principle underlying the whole EU project. I don't see any agreement of the 27 members, so one of my main worries is how do we get an agreement that can last seven years? The family that spends together stays together has been one of the EU's guidelines. But with the continuing economic crisis, that is under increasing pressure as the richer members bulk at spending more.